Hare Krishna everyone, my name is Kaneya Das, my, I go by Vikas also. Um, I am from Indian origin and uh, I am living right now in uh, suburbs of Seattle, Snohomish, Washington state. Today I will be teaching you how to make a, a neck bead or chanting beads, uh, homemade beads out of your own tulsi. So a lot of people, a lot of devotee community have their own tulsis and sometime what happens is tulsi, mother tulsi leaves when she wants because she is independent. Um, so whenever she wants, she leaves, but she gives us the her, her twigs. And then these are her stems and twigs uh, that can be converted, that can be used into making a beads like this. Beads like this. And these are the um, uh, neck beads that I've made uh, from the tulsi that my mother has sent me from India. Uh, and here in this state, we don't uh, have that uh, good weather, so we can grow tulsi in a, in a really, really nice form. And uh, you know, the twigs go a little uh, you know, bigger. Uh, so it doesn't happen quite often. But when it happens, we save those twigs, we save those uh, branches, and then we use them for tulsi or we use them for halan. Nothing uh, from tulsi is wasted. So anything, so even if even if something that you cannot use, like this, something that you cannot use, like this, that can be saved and then given to the people who need for their rituals, last rituals, or you can also use this for uh, your haven, uh, your fire sacrifice. So anyway, uh, before wasting time, uh, before taking a lot of time, not wasting, I'm not wasting time, I believe, uh, before, uh, uh, and then we'll we'll start from how to make these, how to turn these twigs into this. A lot of people have asked me to do this, so I thought we'll just do it and put it on YouTube. A lot of people will uh, benefit out of this. Anyway, so the tools that I am using, uh, two kind of tools I will suggest. I have Dremel tools, and I'll show you what those are, and I have the manual tools, uh, you know, Instead, some people don't have the Dremel tools um, and you can go for the manual version of it. And it doesn't have to be completely, uh, you know, uh, like out of the machinery thing. So you don't have to use any kind of machinery. You can use your hand tools too. So Dremel, the first Dremel tool that I have is this guy. I don't know if you can see this, Dremel. And it has a little uh, uh, bit that will go for 3,000, uh, 30, 35,000 RPM or something. So anyway, so this is a very good tool because it doesn't make any cracks or anything. It just goes right through the seed and uh, it'll make a nice hole. But if you don't have that, then you can use this. I have a, uh, I think 332 bit uh, here. And then all you have to do is just hold the uh, seed right here in your hand. Uh, if you are not comfortable, don't do it. But if, um, uh, and then you can put the seed into the vise, some kind of vise, or some pliers, pliers like this. You know, you, you hold the seed, okay. You hold the seed like this in the pliers, and then you can go through this. Okay, so that, another way. And uh, to cut the tulsi, to turn these branches into the smaller seeds, smaller uh, beads, uh, you have to use some kind of tool. Uh, this one, I use this uh, Dremel, again Dremel. Um, and then this is an oscillating saw. It goes with the really good RPM. I don't know how many RPMs it does it go to, but then you can adjust the RPM speed right here. So anyway, you can use that. All you have to do is just, cut, you know, hold it. And I'll show you, I'll show you how to make it. So, um, it will, will make one or two beads so that you can understand the process. And then you just hold it right here and then it goes, it'll cut it really nice, smooth. If you, if a lot of people don't have that, you can use the coping saw. This is called coping saw. So all you have to do is just hold your thumb wherever you want to make a cut and then just, and it'll make a really good cut. This coping saw is really good. You can make an angle cut too, really good. So, um, 
uh, and then you know any branches that you have so you look at this any size of branches will do because this can be your middle bead you know you can cut it make it into middle bead and then these smaller ones these smaller ones can go at the very end so if you notice here this the uh, the uh, the necklace bead I have is the smaller on the top and bigger on the bottom the very bottom one is really big so it depends upon your uh, liking and your availability of the uh, of the uh, Tulsi and then you can make your you know um, make your bead necklace bead it can be turned into a chanting bead also it would be really nice but I didn't have that many beads at that time I didn't have that many uh, Tulsi's at that time and um, I will actually after this video I will make one complete um, bead uh, necklace and then uh, one of one of the devotees in Tulsi discussions has requested and I'll send it to him so uh, this will be my today's job today is Sunday and it's a beautiful day I can't go work outside so it would be nice to make a video right here with you so anyway so turn to turn this into these let's do let's see how how we do it and then <clears throat> okay so first thing is you take the um, take any branch that you want to start working with and then you clean it up a little bit I'll show you the better version of cleaning up so when I say cleaning up means because there's a bark on the top of there's a little bark on top of every uh, Tulsi so you have to clean it up uh, you know and then to make it you know look nice otherwise it's gonna be start peeling it over here yeah and you won't really like it so but let's see how we do it so another tool I use is this knife be very careful when you use this it's a very very sharp knife and then um, you use this you just uh, take a little bit longer and then you go You're cleaning it up basically if you want more clean you can go you know like this see you can you can clean this up like this right okay so once you clean this Tulsi and once you know that Tulsi is ready to be turned into a seed I'll do a little bit lower so you can see it right here so once you know this is good this is good this is what you want <clears throat> and then you take this your tool and you just go and then you will see notice every Tulsi branch will have a little tiny uh, point of hole where you can make mark your hole so right here right here somewhere over here there's a little tiny bit where you can mark a hole so you take that you just go and you have to be careful when you're doing it because uh, you know you don't want to go through your hands Okay, the more RPM you have, the better it is because then um, it's less effort in your side. So doing it with the Dremel is very simple to do. Here you go. You make a hole. So it'll go through it'll go through this and it'll make a hole like this. And once you have it, once you have the hole ready to go. And then all you have to do is just to make a cut. Let me make a hole completely whole. So okay. So then, then from here, I know I have made a hole this big. You can go a little deeper also. And then 
You just go. It's a, it's a good idea to just hold, you know, it somewhere. So that it's better. Like I said, it's a little tedious, but if you have tools, it'll go a little easy. So after all that effort, you will have the your bead right here. You can use this bead for your Tulsi, uh, uh, you know, threaded in your uh, thread. And I'll show you how to do that too, also. So anyway, so after this, <clears throat> You want these corners, see these corners? They're a little sharp. You can do two ways to sand them. Either you can have some kind of like a sandpaper, some kind of sandpaper, and you just go like that. Take the outside one. And if you're using, uh, if you're using tools, then I would suggest to use the mask because it'll generate a lot of dust. And I'll and I'll show you how, what I mean by generating dust. So I'm gonna use this same thing to sand also. So I'll just open this up and then put the little sanding device. The process goes a little faster with the if you have the proper tools but don't you know not to worry because i made my first beads without the tools so uh, you know you can do it without the tools too so once it's tightened up then all you have to do is just hold this seed go. Okay, that's it. So it, it's sanded from the sides. See those? So it's, this is all good to go in the thread. For the thread, I have this, I got this long time ago from Joanne's. Uh, it's very cheap thread, but it's very, very strong. I think $5, $10, whatever. So it, it's very, very strong. So it's a good idea to use a strong thread for Tulsi because uh, you don't want it to get, you know, get it broken. So anyway, so that, that thing, and then <clears throat> if you try to thread this like that, it's gonna be a little hard. It's gonna be a little tough. Reason is because, um, because this thing is not straight and then, uh, you know, somehow or other, either you have to use the needles or you have to really work through it. So the idea is to use this. B, this is a B-Vax. B-Vax, you can get it from anywhere. If you don't have access to that, use this tea candle. This is also a wax. So all you have to do is just put this right here. Hold it with your thumb. Hold it with your thumb. And then, you know, pull it. Once you pull it, then you have a little stronger, little stronger front. So all you do is use one end and go, go through this. See how easily it's coming? And this is your thread. This is just uh, starting to turn into a necklace. So that's the process that we use. And, um, and uh, you know, um, after this is all, all thing is done, after everything is done, you can put this, uh, you can dip this into an oil. Olive oil, I do it in ghee. So I melt the ghee, I dip it in the ghee, because to begin with, it's gonna be a little bit uh, harsh on your neck. Somewhere or other, you know, it's gonna be pinching, some little t tiny twigs it will be pinching. So um, you dip this whole thing into a, a ghee, or oil and then just let it hang on top of that oil let it hang somewhere somehow or other and then it'll just dip whatever is not soaked in it will dip 
and then after one day and you do it overnight and in the morning this bead is ready so i hope you learned something from this and then uh, i would like to see what uh, people have made you know how people have made turn their tulsi twigs and you can do it with your rose twigs too rose stems because rosewood is also really really auspicious and good you can do it with for rose woods too so turn this into a um, into this and then this into this i hope it helped thank you all for joining hare krishna hare bol all goes to shila Prabhupada. and i'll give you a little darshan of my tulsi also hare 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 namaha oh i can't do that okay so here this is my tulsi and this is my temple hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Hare. Okay, thank you all for joining. Hare Krishna. Uh, make the Tulsi uh, seeds, make Tulsi beads, and uh, you know send those pictures to everybody um, so that we can see how it looks like. Okay, Hare Krishna, Hare Bo.